Following their 19-7 victory over Sale Sharks in the Aviva Premiership, Bath are now eighth. Not particularly impressive, but no need to panic. They're only four points behind fifth place London Irish, so still plenty to play for. This week, we're at the home of Bath, Bath, in the beautiful West Country. We're here to give you an in-depth look into the inner workings of a professional club. The players, the coaches and the support staff. Welcome to Aviva Behind the Badge. In this week's episode, we catch up with the man behind the muscles, Paul Bunce. It's blood, sweat and tears as we find out what goes into a training session and what it takes to reach the highest echelons in the Premiership. And we get up close and personal with two of Bath's biggest stars, South African internationals Butch James and Luke Watson. The game of rugby is ever evolving, usually in the right direction, and as the rules change, so do the players' physiques. I caught up with Paul Bunce, head of strength and conditioning at Bath. You've been putting your players through their paces. An area like this, for some players, is a place of pleasure. For others, these are instruments of torture. How do you balance out between the big guys, the little guys, and everything in between? I think it's really important that uh, everyone must be aware that they have to train hard, they have to be strong, they have to be robust to play the game of rugby. So whether they like it or not, they get in here and they do the time. And uh, it's a long season, so it's very important we look to maintain and develop strength and power. We can't afford to be um, overweight and carrying on excess uh, baggage when you're running on the field for Bath. Professional rugby has provided some brains to go with the brawn. Video analysis and tactical appraisals are now a vital part of any match day preparation. Darren Lewis here is the man behind all these gizmos. What is it that you can capture from a rugby field and give to your coach? Basically capture different angles of the game from uh, the end on, side on, tight angles and they all get mashed together at the end to produce uh, a database. I was going to say, this is terrifying for a player because you yeah. can tell how much work he puts into the game, how far he runs, how fast he runs. Exactly, yeah. Different impacts at different contacts, the number of contacts they make, the number of metres they've travelled in a game. Well, it's fascinating, confusing, but fascinating. All this information has to then be collated and all the information from the fitness coaches, from the skills coaches, all put together and is handed over to one man who has to make head or tail of it and get that team ready, prepare it and put it out onto the field of play. Of course, the head coach. We're approaching the business end of the season and there's still opportunity for Bath to, to push right the way through and, and get up into those playoff places. Yeah, absolutely. And, and uh, the, the mix of players in general, I suppose, you know, we've got players coming back into the squad or have been over the last uh, you know, four to six weeks. Uh, and there's a few that will we'll, we'll filter back in over the, over the next two or three. And then when the internationals finish, of course, all those guys will be back and available for us. So that's, that's very important. Bath has become a draw card for international players. South African Luke Watson skippered the club this season. And World Cup winner Butch James, also from South Africa, has joined him here at the rec. Gentlemen, welcome. The old classic rock, paper, scissors. You're going to do that. Whoever loses has to answer the question I ask and answer it as quickly as possible. Simple? 100%. Yep. Right. Wait. Okay, let's go. Okay, ready? Go. Oh, okay. yes. Luke. Okay. You may have a sister, you may not have a sister. I lost on purpose. Okay, if you have a sister, which player would you be happy for your sister to marry? Myself. Go with it. Strong finish. Yes. Oh, it's a draw. Strong finish. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to Yes. <laughs> He's got to go. Okay, which player would you not invite? to an all-you-can-eat buffet? Probably David Barnes. Uh, as much as I enjoy his company, I just think that his eating habits uh, are very similar to that of a farm animal. <laughs> <laughs> Outstanding. One more question. What has playing at Bath meant to you? For me, has been uh, uh, my teammates here. I think uh, they've welcomed me since the first day I arrived here, and uh, I've made some friends here that I'll, I'll keep in contact with for many years to come. And Luke, for you to, to captain the side as well, probably no club, maybe less to come close, but no club really has the history and the pressure maybe that's associated with Bath. So there is, there is a lot of pressure, pride and tradition that comes with captaincy, but a lot of honour. And, uh, you know, it's been an absolute privilege for me to be involved in the club up until now. Some great, great characters and individuals within the side and uh, a side that is, uh, you know, got just enough professionalism and just enough amateur rugby in it. There are 12 teams battling it out, but only one can be the winner. You can get up close and personal with your team and follow them every step of the way. Join us next week on Aviva Behind the Badge.